guys. Okay. Hi. Hi, guys. We're um, here at Columbia Park here in Kennewick where we are living at. And we're just wanting to say hello to the family. Of, we're in Washington State. Yeah, and everybody that isn't in here, just me and Chauncey are just decided to say hello right now. But uh, we're thinking of you, and they're thinking of you, and we have... Uh, planned on maybe coming but if the cost is too much like uh, I see so far as far as over a thousand dollars and we wanted to reach out to you guys yeah. before we find out if or when and we can't just yeah. as a as you know a, let me know a show of good faith and we love you and we do care and we of course love you and we do we are thinking about Joan and we know she's in a great place and we we are glad that she's going to be where her husband is and the family members that you have lost already and my dad and so there's probably others that we don't know but you know who they are and we just want you to know we're praying for you and uh, God give you peace and May what the devil meant for evil, God turns around for good, because he promised it so, and I, I know I enjoyed Joan visiting, I'll just tell you a little bit, before we found out that cancer was there, she came to visit mom, grandma, Paul, and our mom, Joan's mom, um, she was here, and it was so nice to visit with her, and I love her, and I told her, that she's special that we had a good time and she got to visit your aunt carolyn she got to stay over there and she was visiting aunt liz your other aunt that lives over here and of course she visited grandma all the time and uh, got to go out she got to eat at her favorite places yeah there's some pizza place she liked the small flattened type casamia it sounds like italian but it, it, they serve Italian food, which is pizza, and so she enjoyed that with me one day, and we just talked a lot. She always has been a good friend to me, and um, she knows I'm thinking of her right now. And but yet I have peace about it. So not to say I won't cry, and I, of course, the. Uh, that's we all will cry and we all have to do what that makes us feel better and just remember she's thinking about you and she wants the best for your life and grandma hall's doing good she's 92 right now so she seems to be doing pretty good i can only say that from other family members uh i haven't gone over there yet uh we found out through john texting your uncle john and that was great so He's going to miss her a lot, too, I know. And, of course, they were with each other in Tucson, Arizona, where she had you guys, the eight kids. And he was just saying when he first found out, too, that it was hard for him to think of losing Joan if that was the end result from this situation. If it possibly happened, then he would feel bad, too. But I know that he says we have to take comfort. God says that he will be our comfort and of course if you have your way of dealing with that just know that he's there for you and to look on if you can the beauty around you like we have some squirrels right now that are out in this park and they actually came up on the table about five minutes ago and wanted us to feed them <laughs> so uh, they're not scared at all they've been fed here I guess there's two of them now and he's watching us but uh, it's beautiful fall day, October 27th, so if we see you there, God bless everybody at the service. If we don't, we'll, we're thinking of you when the service is going on. And is there anything you want to say, Chauncey, about anything? This is your cousin, Chauncey, my son. Hi. Yeah, I'm really... Glad to be able to uh, connect with you guys here, and um, I really do appreciate you guys' mom. And 
I am um, grateful to have gotten to see her, you know, this past year yeah. and uh, time to enjoy her company. And, uh, you know, I obviously don't like that I'm only getting a chance to connect with you through this. So uh, I'm really grateful, though, that uh, I get to talk with you guys through this, if that's all that happens. And like we said, we'll try to make it there. I don't see why I won't be able to. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to see you guys here this Monday. And if not... Uh, I'll try to reach out to you guys and see uh, how everything goes and how you guys are doing. Yeah. And you know, if you are always welcome to come here if you want to see us, Grandma. Uh, she would be happy to see you. You probably yeah, would have would. to find a place. But uh, I have a, a bedroom or so I can offer to someone, but we won't get into that much. But just remember that. And we're here on the northwest corner of the United States and just know that you would be more so much welcome any of you guys and we love you so um, we love you and we just wanted you to know everybody's thinking of you and that's all we would say right now so love you guys love you guys bye